Welcome back to the. Welcome back to the. Oh, welcome back to the. Welcome back to the. Welcome back to the. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to the Goons Podcast. Welcome back to the. Welcome back to Ping Kong. Okay, no. I don't, I don't know if the, I don't know if the recorder really really worked with that. I think it adds a new layer. We can make it work, but it's yeah. very like Scoden and Studis. True, it is quite Scoden and Studis. You know, I have a friend who's uh, like native. Rest. Both of them. So yeah, so that that is bad. Found that out after. Uh, he what, actually from the res is a, is bad. Well, not bad per se, but it's like reservation, like. Yeah. A native, yeah. So it's like, it's not. It's it depends on the context, I guess. But uh, yeah. No, he was like, he's Native American, and so is his his girlfriend, and they both follow all of us on Twitter. And he's like, dude, I was so confused when I saw you post a Native American meme, and I was like, <laughs> I didn't know they'd have like their own subculture of memes. I mean, it like, makes wait, sense. Everybody kind of like, has their own subculture of memes. Yeah. Like, so. I, well, I felt bad when I said it because he's like, oh, do you think we all just sit in our little fucking huts making fire with sticks all day? Like, <laughs> of course we have memes. Like, what do you mean? I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah that's a good point, I guess. I, I don't know why. I just never thought of it. But, uh, yeah, so that that's he, he he shined some light on what, what, what the Skoden and Studis lore was. That's awesome. It was yeah. it was something. Yeah, I feel like I now that I know that phrase, I, I feel like I need to watch Reservoir Dogs. But what is that? Is that what it's from? Yeah, it's from a show. Oh, really? Yeah, Wait, I don't know. If, I don't know if that movie is that a Quentin Tarantino. Movie? I don't know. Is it Reservation Dogs? Maybe no. Reservoir Dogs is a Quentin Tarantino movie. Yeah, that's a Quentin the Tarantino one. Movie. That's the one where the the cop. Oh yeah, no, it's literally called like Reservation Dogs. Shot. He's like an undercover Reservation dude. Dogs. Okay. I actually, uh, I actually, <coughs> literally on the flight back from seeing you, McNasty, I started watching Reservoir Dogs, oh. and I, I didn't get to finish it because my flight landed. But I was, I was really, really into it. I don't, I like, I haven't watched a lot of Tarantino movies, but oh, I feel I really like anything he makes ones. is good. He's just such a like. Have you ever watched like an, an interview with him? No. He's kind of a. Cut. He's a goofball. He's like all over the place. He's wild. He he's in yeah. Reservoir Dogs. I'm pretty sure he's an actor. Yeah, he does movie. a cameo in like a lot of his movies. He, yeah. He uh, he did one. What's his? What's the one cameo? I think it's in uh, uh, Django, where he just. I feel like he just wanted to do the cameo. Django so he is could, a fantastic. Movie. So he could be extremely racist for a few minutes and nobody get too mad. What part did he you play see? in Django? Uh, he's the like Australian dude. Um, uh, I need to watch that. Movie. Django gets like <clears throat> like explosives off of him. Oh like, yeah, explosives he blows up the house with at the end. That's right. He's yeah. That's from. That's he's from one that. of the one of the. Isn't he one of the guys that's like, like they there's like three or four slaves like in this like cage thing on horse and they're yeah. like bringing him and then he blow yeah yeah he's either Australian or South African. I'm not sure exactly what accent he's trying to do, but it's yeah, not. I the actually best forgot about that. It's kind of funny because I didn't know what he looked like for a long time. And then when I actually saw him, I was like, oh, I recognize him from being in movies. The fucking crimson chin. Yeah. Yeah, he's a yeah, Steve Buscemi is in Reservoir Dogs. Is really? he? No. I don't yeah. remember that. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Um what other movie did I watch? I was I was trying to watch a, a bunch of Tarantino movies on the fly. I love I'll, Tarantino you know, movies. He's yeah, everyone knows about him. He's so well known and everything and everyone talks good about him from yeah, what if I've you heard. like good movies and and feet he's your guy dude th- dude literally that's what everything. i was that's what i was gonna say i was gonna say i yeah, felt sorry. really really uncomfortable because you know when you're on a flight yeah, yeah and you're like yeah. and like when you're on it when you're on a big flight i was like in the middle but like there are three seats in the middle i was on the left hand seat in the middle and I was watching. What was it? I can't remember the name of the movie, but it's about like a it's a it's like a girl movie kind of like girls are the main characters. Oh, <laughs> no, is it is that Tarantino? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, it was. It's, it's about a, a DJ. Woman. A DJ? DJ? Yeah, she she's. Uh, it's a Tarantino movie. Yeah, it's like I, th- I feel like it's called like Death. Death. Floor, death, maybe? Dave. <laughs> I don't think I've off. seen that. Something death, death. Dave. <laughs> something death. I can't remember the name of it, but it, it's a girl DJ, 
And I didn't know what the movie was about. I just thought the name was cool, and I saw it was made by mm-hmm. Tarantino. Never heard of it. And I was just like, I'm going to watch this. I don't this. think I've heard of that. Let me look up the name of it. And they kept showing her uh, feet in the movie or what? Dude, yes. <laughs> I mean, that's Girl like, DJ like uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Like the most awkward scene to just have Margot Robbie's feet. Death is proof. It like She's in the movie theater and just takes her boots off and throws dirty ass dogs on the seat in front of her. It's like, <laughs> why? What is that adding to the film right now, Quentin? You absolutely just wanted her to pull her fucking feet out on set. You little weirdo. I feel like weird maybe he thought. like, yeah, he could be like a Dan Schneider guy, but I mean, at least he's doing it with a, with adults. And not, it, it, you know, it's, it's, yeah, no, it's called it's Death not, Proof. It's called Death it's, Proof. That's the name of it. Uh, I've not okay. heard of that movie. The full, no, I. the opening like credits is just feet like up on a on the dash of a car and the like the names are just coming up and it's just like in between the names is just like feet and i'm just like uh, these people behind me probably think i'm a fucking weirdo right you should have started smelling your screen on the just <laughs> <laughs> start licking the screen <laughs> the- from but like dude i clicked feet. on it because the the like cover art or whatever you want to call it and the name like death proof i was like damn that sounds badass <clears throat> it sounds like, it a, just- like a band a cool band yeah, yeah I just I, I wasn't really wasn't really feeling that one I do yeah. like the way I feel like his movies the way he shoots his movies there's not a lot of like cuts which I like like there, there's not like a fucking cut every two yeah. seconds yeah not a, not a lot of cinematic shit it's more like conversation that's how like Hateful Eight is have you seen Hateful Eight Hateful yeah, Eight that a long is time. fantastic yeah. a lot of people hate it a lot of people really? aren't a huge fan it. of it but it's one of my yeah it's one of my favorite uh, Tarantino movies I didn't like it the first time. I will say that. I watched it. Did you watch the extended version? I don't think so. Whatever yeah. one was on, it was on Netflix at the time. But well, they have an extended one, and it's like eight hours long. Oh, yeah. Fuck that. No, I didn't watch that. But uh, I watched it for the first time with my girlfriend when we were like snowed in one year, and I didn't really like it. And then uh, Smitty likes Tarantino a lot as well. So we we're hanging out one day, and he's just like, oh, uh, yeah, Hateful Eight's like in my top three. I was like, really? I don't like it that much. So he's like, no, you got to watch it again. So we watched it. And the second time I watched it, I, I liked it a lot better than the first time. I don't really? know. You got to like, you got to really be like in the mood <laughs> to watch a movie. It's not like Is it a, a long casual movie? Walk. I can't It's remember. a long movie, and it is so much dialogue. Yeah. Like, it is pretty much just dialogue <clears throat> until I don't wanna, like I don't the last sp- few minutes. No, go ahead. I, I don't want to spoil anything, but like. Is that the one where uh, there's like some dick involved towards the end? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, yeah, then I've definitely I've seen that one, but it's been a long time. Yeah, it's it's a good one. I like it. It's just uh you got to be like I'm watching a movie today. It's not like, yeah, I'm going to throw this on while I like edit do some or something yeah. or something. Yeah, edit. Yeah, it's like like yeah, you're you sitting down and you're it. watching a fucking film. You want to get immersed, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I, I I still like it. I think it's a, I think it's a really fucking. That's good one, one of those movies honestly, where you gotta like look up and like look up on the internet of like what's like you get confused about something. You gotta look it up and you know I I do that sometimes with movies that are like really kind of like overly confusing. Like they're intentionally kind of like weird. Like remember that movie yeah. that uh that uh Jordan Peele made the um oh, which one Get Out not or Get Out Us or uh, was it Us. Where it's like everybody has like an opposite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that movie confused. Like the ending really confused me. So I had to like look it up and then he was like, well, the ending's up to your interpretation, which I fucking hate. Yeah, I hate, I, I I don't hate like those. Stuff those are like fucking like, annoying. That's, I don't watch a movie to and like make my own interpretation. I watch a movie to from for yeah, I, I, want like, you, story. I want you to tell me I'm a dumb little fucking idiot and I want <laughs> you to show me exactly how to do everything. Yeah. I want you to show me how to think. I don't want you to be like, well, if you take it in this way, it could mean it, that. It's it can like, no, be good if it's done right. Like I, I, I really, I, like I don't think in any guys situation watched I the wanted Sopranos? to be like that. No, I really liked, no. I really liked The Sopranos. Uh, I'm not going to spoil anything, but that is probably the worst. Italian. That's probably the worst no. ending to a show, really ever that I've, I've that- seen. I, I fucking hated it. Like that, it genuinely pissed me off. I heard the ending to Game of Thrones wasn't very good either, like the last yeah, season. Yeah, I heard that was really bad. No. I didn't watch it, though. I Apparently, the new show's either. good. I haven't started watching it. I did start watching the new Lord of the Rings because I love Lord of the Rings. Like, I heard I that was that. good either. I've heard mixed things. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I just, I feel like, from what I've heard, the first season so far, I don't know if it's finished or whatever, but they, they've had a couple, like, filler episodes, and I'm like, 
If you're spending a billion dollars on a TV show, you probably shouldn't have filler. <laughs> yeah, you know? no, I mean, I know I've a lot of that, that goes into like costumes and actors and filming locations and still. getting all the equipment, but still, like, that's a lot of money. That, yeah, like we shouldn't be having filler episodes. Amazon, no. come on. I want Definitely Breaking Bad not. too. Better call. Songs. I don't think you're gonna get it. I want Based Walter to just bad. come back. I want Walter to. And wait, I just okay, spoil sp- that. big spoiler Sorry. alert. Cut so that you'll out. spoil that, but not <laughs> Sopranos so, from like so, 1805. So, editor, when I say no, I want I, Walter I, to blend, it he just hasn't seen the rest Sopranos. of that Because I, no, I literally yeah. just fucked up the last like episode of the show. So people said, yeah. yeah. Bleep that out, editor, yeah, please. You, but, you, uh, you baboon. I guess I can't really talk about what I would want in the second Breaking Bad without like, giving away the first. So, anyways, Breaking Bad 2 would be cool. I mean, it is an old fucking show, but. It you know is, but I there are people who are too, felt like a movie. Like when I Sorry, when no. I started talking about it on Twitter, there was a lot of people that told me they started watching it, and I was like, oh, yeah. I just yeah. got uh, my girlfriend's mother into it. Breaking Bad. She likes a lot of uh, like crime and everything, <laughs> and yeah, that's we why I like there those for Christmas. Crime. And I was like, she likes like the uh, like true crime documentary kind of stuff, and my I, dad's okay. like that. And, Forensic and, Files. Like, yeah, I guess like stuff like that, and yeah. I was like, you should watch Breaking Bad, and I think they finished the first season, like, I don't even know, like yeah. the first day, pretty much. Jesus. I was like, told you, <laughs> it's Breaking really Bad, like it's, <laughs> it's one of those shows where like you really have to watch like the first few episodes. You kind of have to like deal with the first few episodes because it's very. It gets you into the action bad. pretty like, quick though. Like I didn't watch the whole series. I think I've watched season one, and the last episode are all I've seen. Yeah. And I didn't find season one like super slow or anything. Like I said, I'm not really like a TV. No, I meant like the first few episodes because the ending of season one was cool. I don't know. The first few episodes, I didn't find that slow. They were pretty good at like character building and like right to the point. It was just there's just a lot of characters you had to introduce. So it might I guess it might feel like it drags, but I felt like it was pretty, pretty, pretty straightforward. Pretty. I heard House of the Dragons really good. The new Game of Thrones show, but I I haven't started watching. Uh, I can't watch those on. So they're not for me. But, yeah, uh, it's like fantasy finished. world stuff is not has never really been like it, super my vibe. Fantasy is yeah, well, same. I liked I liked Witcher the show before. Heard that um, was really good too. Well, yeah, not anymore. So uh, the reason it was basically good is because Geralt was played by um, oh my god, I'm drawing a blank right now. He was Superman, really good dude, big gamer. We've said his name before. I don't know who you're talking about, but I... yeah, yeah, Henry Cavill. Um, yeah, it was he was he was uh the Witcher before, but he's he's moved on now. So that show is <clears throat> is boo boo dick without mm-hmm. him because he literally like he carried that show on his fucking back. It was solid, but yeah. like realistically, if it was any other actor, I don't think I would have been that interested in the first place. So he was like the only reason I found it interesting. There's nothing worse than a show or a movie where they get rid of the actor. Yeah, I can't believe they did that in Black Panther. Didn't I'm he sorry. fucking die? Yeah. <laughs> Did he die? <laughs> Holy Holy shit. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Blarg with the most fucked up joke of the day. Yeah, really. Yeah, he died. Out of left field. We're going to get a community guideline strike for that joke. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, maybe. That's okay. But uh, I was saying, I just finished playing God of War Ragnarok. I know neither of you have played it yet. You know what's yet. funny? I just I ordered a PS5 last night literally for that reason alone. Yeah, so... That's literally so. I started playing. I bought a PS5 for God of War and Spider Man, and I played through the Spider Man games. Really fucking fun. This was before they were on PC, um, and I really enjoyed them. And then I was like, all right, I'll play God of War. And I started God of War 2018, like, God, probably about a year ago. Um, and I started it, and I I didn't like it at all. Like, I don't like hack and slash games. Uh, so the gameplay didn't really pull me in and like, there wasn't enough story yet. Yeah. Like that. Well, that's literally the style they're called like shit like that. And like, I guess not doom. You're basically just pressing the A button. Um, Yeah. You you basically, it's games where you just spam button. Doom kind of is like that. It's just not slash. It's just, yeah. Yeah. Kill unlimited waves of NPC, unnamed NPCs. Uh, Yeah. Whatever. Uh, so that's not really my style of game. So I, I tried it. I played like the first three hours of the game. (laughs) And I wasn't into it at all. I don't know why, but I just wasn't. And then when I was moving into this house, I didn't have internet at all. I had I just had a TV and I sat on the floor <coughs> and I had my PS5. I was like, all right, what can I play? And I was like, ah, I guess I'll try God of War again since nothing else is on my PS5. And I don't know what happened, but when I tried it again, I was just obsessed immediately. Like the day that I picked it up again, I think I played like nine hours straight of it. 
and I just mm. ran through that game. And then uh, absolutely loved it. And I was like, all right, Ragnarok probably won't be as good because that game was like yeah. nearly perfect, in my opinion. And then I played Ragnarok, and bro, it is on another level. It's so good. And the way the game is like... Yeah, I'm excited have you guys to play seen the movie, uh Have you guys seen the movie 1917, the World War One movie? No, but I've uh, wanted to watch it. So the way they direct it is there is not a single visible cut in the entire film. It like obviously it's not one camera shot, but it looks like one camera shot. Like everything is just there's no cuts, there's no like jump cuts, there's no literally nothing. Huh. It's just one consistent line of That's like footage. unedited funny moments. Yeah, unedited funny moments in <laughs> World War One. But uh Some yeah, got to God of War Ragnarok's the same same way. There's no like, there's no loading screens, there's no cuts or anything. It's all just like uh, happening as you play it. And you don't it like walk so into a door and then cool. it goes black for like a minute. No, no, it's just like, in the unless you're like going to a new realm and like shit like that. Uh, but it's yeah, it's it, it's it's crazy. It feels like a movie how, basically, like, like you're playing. A well movie. directed the game is. Yeah, because I still to this day I don't like the gameplay. I think it's it's not really for me. I like boss fights in the game. Yeah, I remember playing um, the first God of War when I was a kid on my PS2, and like yeah. I, I've only played half of it. And I just got tired of like the all the what's that called yeah, the quick time just, events and shit. It's just like yeah, it just gets oh, boring yeah. after a while. Yeah, well, there's still a lot of quick time events, so you gotta yeah. like. There's always a cutscene. I like put the controller down, like scratch my balls, and it comes back. I'm like, oh fuck, and I, like <laughs> freak out to get the controller back, and I have to spam O. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, the game, the first like hour and a half of uh, God of War Ragnarok is probably the most insane hour and a half. Uh, like first hour and a half of a video game I've, I've ever seen in my life it is just it is so good but yeah i'm excited for you guys to play that so we can talk about it and spoil it for people who yes like yes it. yes and that's only on ps5 yeah the i think i think it's the only game War, that ps5 has exclusive right now i played i played a little bit be. of 20 no there's probably a bunch more. that's the reason i got a ps4 was to to play that yeah the reason yeah, i got a ps4 was for warface or what was, was it warface we had to do that fucking i don't know that was on Xbox. We had to do yeah, it. that was Xbox. Was it? There was a reason I bought a yeah. PS4, yeah, and it was I had for to a buy, sponsor. I had to buy an Xbox for that. I, I feel like I know what you're talking about, McNasty, but Warface was Xbox. So we had to, I don't I had to I dust off the Xbox one. one. I remember we all did one together, and then I remember having to play the yeah, Xbox. Yeah, that was on Xbox. <laughs> I don't know. Because I, I remember the night that we were, uh, the night me and Blarg and Do were recording it, I was like, "Oh God! I hope my Xbox One still works." I like yeah. took it out of the fucking closet. <clears throat> we had we yeah, I bought, wiped I bought off a, a pound one. of dust. We did Warface <laughs> multiple different times. The first one we ever yeah. all did together, I remember because on my PS4, I, I recently gifted it to my little brother for his for his birthday last year, and the accounts on the PS4 was like Mishka Romanov. Oh, you're like, right. What was that? No, I don't, <laughs> yeah, I know what you're Warface. talking. No, that wasn't Warface. No, 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 that was something else. But do you remember? We, no, you're right. Because every did... time, I, yeah, every time I turn on my PS4, it's fucking some Russian name, and I'm like, bro, who is this? Yeah, yeah. But but I remember that, did, but I don't know the game. I remember Warface. I we did Warface. when Do and like Yummy was there too. Remember when Yummy was there, and it was like we no. could not pass it at all. Like we kept doing it over, and we played it for like fucking five hours. But I don't think Blarg was there. I think it was me, you, Yummy, and Do. Yeah, I didn't do that one. <laughs> I but feel that like was the on one Xbox, you're talking the I one remember, you're talking about I I feel like I couldn't go to one of the sessions and then Cobb had to fill in. Oh no, it was Cobb. Maybe. Yeah, it wasn't yummy, it was Cobb. I was, yeah, or maybe I I'm misremembering and I just watched the video of that. Yeah, I don't it know. was rough. It was It was rough when we played too. Dude, I had <laughs> like I had no double A batteries. And I was like, oh, fuck, I got to go get some double-A <laughs> batteries. And I was, like, going through every drawer in my house, like, looking for fucking batteries. And I was, like, finding these, like, cheap-ass corroded batteries. I was like, please work for just an hour. Like, please for just an hour. And, like, none of them would work. And then I, like, ran to the dollar store and bought these batteries. And they were all drained. And I was like, fuck. And then I had to, like, run to Walmart. Damn. So it took me so many times. Yeah, I remember that day of having a... a double a powered battery for fucking xbox yeah i used to buy the rechargeable <coughs> batteries and just have them like yeah. sitting in and charging and stuff bro did you guys how long did you guys keep the white controllers that came with xbox 360s that's all i ever used until i until i literally was, lost it were yours like dingy fucking brown yeah. like crust on yes. the back and shit i would Dude, yeah, not, the, the, the like fucking joysticks oh. had like 
they were like peeling off and everything. I think yeah. I yeah. eventually I bought like control freaks to put on top of them or something. Yeah. Yeah, I remember I bought these. I think they were from Razer, actually. Yeah, it was a Razer Xbox 360 controller that I bought. Which, it was dope. It had, like, mechanical buttons and shit. <clears throat> and uh, it came with these little, like, covers for the joy pads that made it, like, stickier. And I put those on my regular one because my regular Xbox controller, like, the, the rubber actually, like, came off. It was just plastic. Oh, it was, man. like, dirty, greasy I used to have plastic. PS2 controllers that were like that. Oh, we just yeah. I used the, when you're that the young, default. you just fuck them up. The yeah. default Xbox 360 headset that looked like a telemarketer yeah. headset, you know, where it was just like a piece of foam on your ear yeah. and a piece of plastic that didn't even dude, cover your other so ear. those were so uncomfortable. Yeah, dude. I, I used that until it literally snapped. And then I got uh, Turtle Beaches, I think. Yeah, 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 the Turtle Beaches, too. Because like everyone was like, oh, ones. dude, you basically need them to, like, do good in COD. You can and hear the like, footsteps. Yeah. I was like, dude, I'm just bad at COD. <laughs> like, this is not yeah. a sound-related problem. Like, I'm actually just shit. Yeah, I remember for Christmas, I, like, saved up all the money I got for Christmas, and I got the wireless Turtle Beaches, and, oh, they were so nice. Didn't yeah. have to deal with the cable. I had cable. the wired for a while. No, I, actually, I think I started with the wireless. I had the big white ones. They kind of look like yeah. Largs headphones And now. when you shook them, they would go... <laughs> like the no, mine were actually... Clackily. No, oh. those were the, the wired ones were like that. Yeah. Because I had the wired ones, too, after... I think I broke the the wireless white ones I had. You had to put the batteries like in the side, right? Yeah, here. that's yeah, what I would yeah, go through. The ones I had having that, and then also having to put batteries in your fucking controller. Oh man, I was I was yeah, batteries. That's like why crazy. I had the rechargeable was always charging. Yeah, my dad was it would get so pissed. I'd literally like he would hide all the batteries in his office at home because like otherwise I would just run through them like every other day just to make sure they were like a 30 up. pack so every I'd, week so i'd have to like go ask him for batteries and he'd get so mad and be like how much are you fucking playing this stupid xbox where you like <laughs> need these bad dude uh, parents are like well my parents they were fucking homies with that it is so much shit that it had to, like when i got <coughs> xbox uh, i wanted to play world of war with my friends all the time like that's that's basically why i got a 360 and my internet was so slow that it would always just get to the point where waiting for other players in cod and it would just not ever stay connect there. i yeah. would yeah i would never be able to join because like my internet was just too fucking slow so my dad got better internet for me like still you know yeah. helped yeah i got uh, the wireless connectors so i didn't have to like uh plug into the ethernet and stuff he like he had no idea he did not understand that shit at all like obviously i have a very yeah arab f first generation father who just had no idea what the fuck video games were. He, he'd get like a headache watching me play for 30 seconds and probably some PTSD watching me shoot brown guys all day. But, you know, he was, he was about it regardless. I think Luckily, it's just generally my, my good. My dad was pretty uh, up to date a little bit. I mean, to be a, a very classical redneck man, he he, he would play like uh, Nintendo 64. He played the GameCube That's dope. and well, stuff. Uh, That's so. sick. He, he, like, he knew about gaming and everything. He just That's kind of sick. All my dad ever played was uh, Madden. Still to this day, that's all he cares about playing. He would I mean, spend my like dad play NHL with me. My like dad, NHL 2004. My dad was like addicted to Mario Tennis for a while on the GameCube. Oh, let's go! I would, I would like see. wake up at like fucking six in the just morning and, and, and go upstairs to like play my my GameCube, and I just walk up there. He's like sitting in the lawn chair playing Mario Tennis. <laughs> it's just, so funny. Your dad sounds like a fucking legend. <laughs> that's so funny. Yeah, my dad, I made him play, like, the NHL games with me. My dad was, like, obsessed with hockey. Really? Um, I made him play the, yeah, I made him play all, like, the NHL, the EA NHL games with me. And he'd get so upset because I would just dust him. And I'd do, like, there's so many little exploits, like, shooting from certain <laughs> angles would go in 100% of the time and stuff like that. And I'd just, just piss him off the whole time, and he'd get so <laughs> mad and not want to play anymore. It's like, bro, you're, like, 50 getting mad at your... 12 year old son for dusting you on an nhl game it's so funny the joss family have a, a wii either yeah my no, mom my grandparents the shit did, out but... of guitar hero for the wii dude yes i feel like really? the wii was a game changer for like i wish i would have grown up with a wii I, I was a ps2 guy i i didn't have anything wii related or nintendo related the wii was the wii was so yeah, much fun that was, was a really great game fun. console my grandparents had and i would go over there was. and play bowling every once in a while but i never like it wasn't wii something sports, i could just sit bro and play that was the shit yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that shit was so fun. I, I <clears> love the Wii. There was like, even though it was a bad console, the games that came out on it were just so fucking fun. And they were so goofy. Like, there's no actual games that I'd really, like, yeah. dig into other than, like, the Zelda games. It was all, like, 
surface level just fun shit i remember like 15. call of duty came out for the Wii, and i was like who the fuck is playing call of duty on the Wii? oh yeah <laughs> I, yeah i, I played i bought really? black ops for the wii yeah yeah i had the Damn. wii zapper where it was like a, a gun pretty much the gun, <laughs> yeah. yeah i had that shit because it, it came i think it came with, it came uh, with the, Link's, the resort or was links crossbow training is what i got mine with oh mm-hmm. what the fuck yeah i got yeah, my, and I you think were, like, it was shoot targets. Sports resort because there was like skeet shooting and shit was it hard yeah. to play awful uh dude I, honestly i don't even remember I, it was probably so janky like it if you were to go back bad. and play it now can, like after we've all played vr going back and playing that would be like holy fuck yeah. like this was so because everything's like like the movement is like jaggedy and it's like and like, like it's not yeah and you you drop the wii remote and your fucking character's yeah. like <laughs> yeah. like that yeah. do you guys ever dude. break anything with a wii remote no no bro <laughs> Luckily I, not. I was playing Wii Bowling, and we had a Shih Tzu, and I I went to go bowl, and I was going for a big one. Like, you know, Wii Matt was sitting behind me. I had to impress him. So I swung it as hard as I could, and my little Shih Tzu came walking up in front of me. I hit <laughs> him in the face shih tzu? and gave him a... No, I gave him a nosebleed. I oh felt my so God. bad. I was, like, crying and, like, ran into my mom's room, and I was like... Like, I was so scared that I, like, the dog was going to die and stuff. So she took him to the vet. They're like, yeah, he literally just has, like, a bruise and a little ouchie <laughs> on his nose. But, dude, I felt so bad. It's insane. I, like, never wanted to play bowling again because I was so scared I was just going to fucking peg my dog. The only that thing I've ever done is the context. first time I ever used a VR headset, <clears throat> I, I was playing super hot and I a VR and I punched the wall. <laughs> oh, that hurt. sounds fun. I just went to just straight on just, boom, and I just hit a wall. I I hit my knuckles in one of Smitty's VR remotes off like this old fucking massive wood and leather couch that he had in his old VR room for some reason. Really? <laughs> this is like the most inappropriate couch to have in a VR room because it was fucking huge. And yeah, like, VR room, you should just like, have a VR headset and that's it. Just the empty yeah, room. it was from like the 80s. So like back when they actually built things well. So it wasn't like plywood with a, you know, like veneer over it. It was yeah. just this strong like oak. And I just fucking, I think I was playing Blade Sorcery and like it went down and I just crushed like my oh. first three knuckles off the, off the corner of it. I thought I was going to die. I thought I was about to meet grandma. It was hell. It did not feel good. <laughs> yeah. I still don't I've have a VR. Anything. VR is fun. Have, I was, was going to say, do you guys it. play it? I have an I don't Oculus really too, but. Go yeah. ahead, McNasty. <laughs> Silent nope. boon moments. <laughs> Do you still play it? Go ahead. Um, I was asking if you play. So the the my cop cousin that used to live with me, he played it a lot, and he like connected because you know you have to connect like a Facebook account to it. What? Yeah, really? yeah. Because Oculus is owned by fucking Facebook, by Facebook now. Yeah. yeah. But uh, what if he you connected just to don't it. Have Facebook. You, you just have to make, to make a fucking account. Yeah. What? But That's he made so like dumb. a he made he put a password on it right, and it's one of those passwords where it's like the old Android passwords where you have to like swipe and make like a pattern. Oh, and he yeah. doesn't remember it, and I don't know it, and I'm just too fucking lazy to like try and figure out how to like factory reset it or whatever. So it just sits in my in my fucking living room, just untouched. Hell yeah! I'm so. ready for VR to reach a point where it's not even a headset, where it's just like a pair of like sunglasses that you put yeah. on or something. I mean, that was like not so much VR, but uh, do you guys remember Google Glass? Yeah, the that glasses pretty... that everyone thought was going to be like the next fucking yeah. thing for like. I remember hearing shit. about it, but I never looked into it. I feel like I remember yeah. hearing about that when I was in high school. Yeah, it was like an old thing. There's like, there's a car YouTuber I watch. His name is Sam, but uh, his channel name is Seen Through Glass, and everyone like he, he basically is like an automotive journalist and does like uh-huh. a bunch of other shit with cars. And everyone thought it was because like mm-hmm. Seen Through Glass, like the, the yeah, like uh, the window screen and shit. Um. But it was it was actually because he used to film his videos with the Google glasses, but then they turned out to be fucking dog shit. Yeah. So uh, yeah, but I, I I don't know. It's always weird looking back at like shit that you think would be so cool back then, and then it just turns out to be like absolutely nothing. Yeah. I remember when the DS came out, and oh, I thought I thought that was, sick. that was like the coolest shit ever. <clears throat> they had the little touchpad; you could draw Yee. stuff with the little uh, pen. And then the DSi came out where it had the camera in the middle yep. and the camera on the back. And I was like, dude, this you could take so like 1.8 megapixel fucking shit. Yeah, dude, I, I still have mine. And uh, whenever I was moving, I found it and I was like looking through the photos and the photos on there are so one. low quality. It's so bad. 
But yeah, back then it was like yeah. the next it was big thing. Normal. Yeah, one of my uh, one of my friends had a uh, had the it was a DSI, right? With the Yeah. With, with the, the cameras. Camera. Yeah, he had one. And he had a phone, but he it was like back when like smartphones were just becoming like smartphones. So they didn't have much storage or anything. So his storage was full. So he's like, yeah, I want to record like some of the shit at the concert. So he brought his fucking DSI and tried <laughs> recording, like taking pictures and like videos. And it, dude, the Just photos are, st- they're so fucking bad. It's insane. I still remember them. They were like, he was showing us. I guarantee was, like, you. All like you could a- see was light. It was just light. You could see nothing else. You just see like stage lights. Like he could have been anywhere and took that photo and just like it's so bad. It's so funny. I'm trying to think of other, uh, other like technology that was. I mean, the advanced. old Nintendo VR was kind of sick back, like way back in the day. No, the fuck it wasn't. I had it, that. Well, thing, it was dude. sick because it was shit. But <coughs> I it was had like, that. It was thing. a cool that idea. Thing fucking sucked, dude. Yeah, I my hated my it. cousin has <laughs> one. I, I I've tried it very briefly, so I can't give a good review of it, but. It was like a good idea. It was cool idea. It was a I cool idea. The execution was was not good. I dude, I had that thing, and it had like two or three legs on it or whatever, and you like I would sit on the floor, and the, like the controller I think was on the side of it. So you had to like, <laughs> I would sit crisscross applesauce on the floor. Yeah. And as a, as a kid, your body you, your yeah. body doesn't You're understand yeah, pain. Like you can jump <laughs> off of a fucking three-story building as a kid and get up and be like whoa hell yeah Yeah. you do that as an adult and you're like fucking out of order for a month (laughs) but even as a kid i would sit crisscross applesauce on the floor and i would you'd have to like lean forward like this to play a game you'd have to shrimp up and and the controller was like on the side of it and even after playing that for like 15 minutes you're like god damn dude my neck and back are killing me yeah it's like nobody tested those things yeah yeah, I, I feel like if they would have, I don't know, something. 90s tech was so funny, or like 2000s. Like, there's yeah. this, I feel like when we actually started <clears throat> to be, like, be able to get, like, affordable tech, things just went south for humans. Like, do you remember fucking Tooth Tunes? Yeah. Yeah. Bro, I had a Tooth Tunes that did the first two minutes of uh, All Star by Smash Mouth. That song. And then it would just like, abruptly end, or what? Yeah, yeah, it would just end at two minutes. <laughs> but, like, just that song. It makes me like salivate because I feel like I'm about to brush my teeth. So You're if like a I dog hear when the, they hear the bell, like the yeah, psychology like, thing. <laughs> yeah, literally, like because I brush my dude. I had that thing for like two years. Like th- they're supposed to have a lifespan probably of like two months, and I just had it. And like the only reason I stopped using it because the speaker like got jank. So it's just like fucking blown out cow farts instead yeah. of actual music coming out of it by the end. Like so much water and toothpaste was like caked into it, but it was a good idea yeah. though. It was, it was cool so idea. stupid. <laughs> like I feel like as I a would kid still... though, that's like whoa. I remember yeah. the commercials where it's like I want to rock and roll. Uh-huh, it was all night. Just, yeah, <laughs> I cannot imagine how annoyed my parents were with like still trying to sleep. Like worked worked late, and I'm just brushing my teeth, and they just hear fucking Smash Mouth coming from the bathroom next to their <laughs> so did, next to their w- room. Was it more than one song per, per toothbrush, or was no, it no. just one song just per toothbrush? You wanted a different song. You'd yeah, have to I feel like that would get old pretty quick. I got yeah. old real yeah. quick, but I just still, I ran with Dude, it. Dude, they should remake like, that. Is... Remake it with like the technology we have now, and like a good speaker. Like a high why would storage. you do that? You could, you could literally just grab your phone and say, <laughs> hey, Siri. AirPods. Play yeah, but fucking the, Smash Mouth and sit down. The point then, of it though is oh. is the the whole two minutes thing is you're supposed to brush your teeth for Ignacy, sixty seconds. You're thirty. You right. shouldn't need to have a timer. I telling know, you but I'm, to, I'm not saying I'm going to do it. I'm saying for kids, obviously, tooth tunes. I'm not going to fucking use but it. Every kid now has a fucking iPhone where they can just yeah. pull up Apple Music or or but Spotify that's what I'm saying. or it's YouTube like, or something. It's like click, you have it and then it it plays for two minutes and then it stops and that's when you're done brushing your teeth for a kid. I feel like we should just have a toothbrush that has a little timer on it. And and I, I feel like most kids that use that are probably eight. They probably don't have phones yet. Nah, bro. I was like 13 when I used a toothbrush. Oh, well, you're a fucking loser then. <laughs> bro, what? Sorry. Nasty sounds jealous. He wants one yeah, right now. That's I why can't, you know what's, I can't, we got to bring him back, dude. You know I want to use I'm one. I'm actually going to see if I can buy. I can't remember if I ever sure had one can. or not. I, I remember like wanting one, but I don't know if I ever had one. I don't think I oh, ever wait, had one. Oh, wait. They're still on Amazon. You can still buy 
interactive talking toothbrush. Cardi minions. B and Nicki Minaj now. <laughs> no, this one's Minions. I just think of wet ass pussy. Wet you're ass your pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna order a bunch and we're gonna test them next next podcast. Oh my god! There's Baby Shark. <clears throat> Oh my god. Yeah. Wow, we're young. Who sings it? One Direction. Okay. Here, Soup, you're saying we need to spend money on the Goons account? Let's all buy 200 tooth tunes. Yeah, we should all, all right, buy yeah. one and then, like, like the podcast, whenever we have them, just, like, open up and we're all just, like, brushing our buy teeth. Buy the whole stock. Get, like, a fucking. <laughs> get a crate of tooth tunes delivered. <laughs> if you look up tooth tunes, you get hearing aids on Amazon. I'm going to buy one of those for good measure. <laughs> all right. I have. A Minions Talking Power Toothbrush. I have Baby Shark. I have One Direction. And I have Justin Bieber singing Baby. This one does not look trustworthy, though. Look how small. Oh, dude, this is. Oh, no, it's not. Wait, is it not available? I want to shit my pants hopefully, all night. Hopefully not. I hope this one They is. need to look make how... one of Waluigi just saying Wah for two minutes. This one is absolutely a scam. Look at this image. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's Dude. not even like it's just like a tiny PNG of Justin Bieber. Justin brush Bieber buddies. singing "Yellow Toothbrush Baby" and you smile, brush buddies. <laughs> it's a cord- Dude, you have to have it. Pl- it says corded electric. You gotta have that thing plugged in. Fuck oh that. Oh my god. Yeah, let me plug in my toothbrush before I brush my teeth, so I can oh, listen to two it. minutes of "Baby" by Justin Bieber. <laughs> I think so I'd rather me. just not brush my teeth. <laughs> Buying it. I'd rather just use Listerine and go to bed. Matt, did oh, you see wait, that fucking? Did sale. you see that Kanye merch he made on the cancer? Uh oh boy, no, I didn't. You not seen that is yet? It, <laughs> Have you no, not seen that it, yet? Okay, there's gonna be a, a <clears throat> slightly different swastika. It's supposed to be Y E, like Yay, yeah, like yeah, name. Yay twenty four. But he literally turned it into a swastika Sweet with an extra dash. You know, my my favorite part about that photo. Is that they could not pay that black dude enough to show himself in that advertising? Yeah. He's like, you know what? I'll I'll model the shirt, but you can't pay me yeah. enough to have my face involved. It's like I can't believe <laughs> I'm doing this right now. <laughs> oh my god, that's fucking insane. For everyone that listening and not medicated. watching, even though you can't see it, even if you are watching, we're looking at Kanye's new merch, which is literally just a swastika. A Nazi. Yeah, but it says Yay Twenty Four in the shape of a swastika. Yeah, that is insane. That man has just lost it, like just lost the plot completely. He just needs a, a tooth tunes. What point of his brain was just like, like what point? Of, what point in time was he just like, you know what? I'm gonna be a when Nazi. The Jews froze his bank accounts. Oh, well, I mean, they did that because he started talking like a Nazi. I don't Maybe. think the Jews actually froze any of his bank accounts. <laughs> I think he might have had some sort of financial trouble, maybe some fraud. Maybe. I don't think some I don't think some guy with maybe. a fucking yarmulke just I, walked into the bank, <clears throat> went behind the counter and said, Hold on guys, I'm busy. I think uh, his me, tooth tunes broke and he got angry. Yeah. Yeah. Or they didn't want to put one of the no songs Kanye in the tooth, tooth tunes. tunes. Yeah, I want Run Away by Kanye. The entire like seven to nine minute song. I don't remember what it I is. Want I want poopy that scoop, entire thing on scoop tooth. Scoop de poop whoop. That's, That's my a banger. Tooth tunes. That's a banger. That's a hood classic. I will just use my iPhone and play whatever music I choose as I brush yeah. my teeth. Yeah, I just you're not just for the get boys. A speaker. Just get like <laughs> not for it's the actually boys. not that expensive to just get speakers installed in like your house, like where you or can just get them like use your phone. Put, I like, have that in this yeah, house, but, or but the uh, wiring is all weird. Put an Alexa there. Oh yeah, I guess the, Alexa. What's Macassi? I have that like on my like on my walls and stuff. I have yeah. like those built-in speakers, but. The wiring is all under where the bar is, and it's just like a big fucking rat's nest of wires. I'm like, fuck that. I ain't doing that. Oh, that sounds ass. Yeah, I wouldn't bother with that then. Yeah, if it's <sighs> Bluetooth, it's, it's pretty worth it. But yeah. it's actually not that expensive to do. Honestly, you could. That, that's probably like a year worth of tooth tunes to just pay for that instead of the tooth tunes. Because they're like $35 each because they have to be like licensed. Yeah. What you, you, could what probably just, you, you could probably just tell Alexa, be like, hey, play this song for two minutes. End it after two minutes. Probably. But then you wouldn't be able to put it in your mouth and like, <clears throat> like you could cover it. With no, I'm saying like have an like Alexa at your fucking sink when you're brushing end. your teeth and then yeah. use a regular toothbrush. Don't brush well, yeah, your teeth with like, the Alexa. The whole fun was having the music in your mouth. It felt like it was coming from you. I can't these, believe we've been talking speaker. about tooth tunes for like 15 minutes. This is wild. What do you want to talk about? <laughs> what do you want to talk about? I want to talk about rock and roll. Ah, want to rock and roll. <laughs> It always goes back to tooth tunes. Yeah, tooth tunes are everything. <laughs> tooth tunes are life. They run the world. I wouldn't be where I'm at right now without tooth tunes. 
We're all shills for Tooth Tunes. Mm -hmm. Use code Jeff goons at tooththunes.com. I just, just got a kidding. new GoPro. Huh? Speaking of of tech. Oh, well, yeah. I say, speaking of Tooth Tunes. <laughs> tooth speaking Tunes of, Wakanda no longer exists. I'm going to put my GoPro in my mouth and get a, a POV. That's kind of cool. I guess. You should hook a rope to it and then tie the other end of the rope to your penis and just walk around naked. Just let it dangle so I can I can see what it's like to be your penis. So it'll film my ceiling as I'm walking yeah. around my house naked? Yeah. Have you ever thought about putting a GoPro on your dog for like a day, letting it walk around and then like seeing what it does? <laughs> mm, I would rather just cut so open its cranium cool. and, and install oh. a webcam right in its forehead. <clears throat> I mean, you could just tape there it to its a, forehead. You don't have to enter it inside a of a I don't know. I don't know how GoPro recent my dog's it was. Forehead. But <laughs> what do you say, there Burge? was a cat. There was a cat. I don't know how recent it was, but there was a cat, and they took a bunch of like uh, edibles. I don't. Yeah, they gave a cat edibles. <laughs> it died. <laughs> no, uh, they gave it like a bunch of things that uh, I forget what they're called. Electro something or other, I don't know. But essentially, they shock therapy. The, the, no, the things they put to people's head when they want to measure like brain waves and shit. But they oh, had a monitor um, and they attached a bunch of them to the cat and they could see through the cat's eyes. <laughs> like they could project the cat's what the cat was seeing. <clears throat> oh yeah, I feel monitor. like I've heard. I feel like I heard about that. That's it was awesome. insane. Yeah. It's so fucking cool. Yeah, it is. I don't know anything about that. That is like so far from any of my <clears throat> knowledge. I have no idea, but it was really fucking cool to watch. People were just like, they were like waving at the cat, and you see it on the camera and stuff. The cat just had no idea what the fuck was going on. Look, guy was just trying to vibe. That's My people sick. always doing weird science shit with cats. Remember the guy that put it on a fucking uh, Schrodinger drone? No, the they guy put that, a cat the on that, a drone. Yeah. Oh, are you talking about the dead cat? The dead yeah, the cat that's like fucking, stretched out. Yes, yeah. that's fucking Why? sick. Why? What it's do you cool, mean that's sick? It's, it's like a cool literally, skin. It's, it's literally a cool skin like for your drone. COVID two just flying around like this rotting carcass carrying bacteria and disease, just being piloted into people's backyards. Maybe it's so nobody will steal his drone. They'll go to steal it and they'll be like, "Oh fuck, there's a oh, rotting true. cat on here." <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I would probably just lock it up before getting to that that part. But yeah, I'm gonna do that with my wallet. I'm just gonna keep a rotting just piece a of hog skin. Cat in there. flesh. <laughs> Just I'm gonna a, make a wallet out of my sack. Just an unfried pork rind. Half of a trout. Of your wallet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The bottom half just. Yeah. Bless you. Uh, sorry, I'm still <clears throat> still ill a little bit. You got that right. You're the illest I know. Yeah, I got bro. boogers in my throat right now. It's bugging me. That's pretty cool, man. I didn't Thank drink my damn that. coffee. Like, That's usually when I drink coffee, it kind of like soothes the boogers. Get really, get really snad. That's a really interesting conversation right there. Thanks. I'll tell you that. Tooth tunes. Yep. Yeah, how you guys feel about tooth tunes? <laughs> Seven. <laughs> Seven what? Seven times <coughs> you go use code goons on G-Sups. Yeah, code goons on G-Sups for sure. Has anything fun happened in the news recently? Could we look up fun news? Um, Ukraine. Funny moments. That's, that's. That's, uh, that's pretty funny. Are you trying to blow up a balloon right now? It's the noise I make when I shoot the, uh, mask out of my mouth. South Korea oh. lifted its ban on imported sex dolls. Wow. I didn't know they had a ban on sex dolls. Good for them. Neither did I. Frog transparency. Why is this... <laughs> <laughs> Did a frog come out about doing something wrong? What happened? Sounds like a prog rock song. Frog transparency. Seeing through frogs. Yeah. Pig livers are human-like. What is this? What has AP News got going on right now? What are these fucking headlines? A whole lot of nothing. That's why they have those headlines. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing interesting going on right now in the world. Yeah. Nasty, how's the music stuff going? Um, I, actually, I saw y'all after this podcast. Tweet something. Yeah, after this podcast, I'm going to talk to the guy about uh, doing the, like the animated lyric video, and then uh, getting a merch design done. Hell yeah! So, Fuck yeah! Dude. Yeah, I just got the full song like, uh, export from Andrew yesterday. Nice. I'm gonna be with yeah. Andrew next weekend in oh, Florida. Yeah, right. Oh yeah, that's right. 
Yeah. Damn, beans. are we both not going to be here next week? <clears throat> I'll I should be here for. Oh, the Oh, actually, I'll be here. No, I'll be here on the fourth. Uh, yeah, I should be here, but I'm gonna leave like a day early and everything to prepare yeah, for the I'm shows. Down from the fifth to the thirteenth or fourteenth or something. We're gonna, gonna try to vlog a bunch of stuff or? whenever we go. What? You're gonna vlog? I'm gonna try to vlog some stuff. Are you gonna put it on the Slackjaw channel? Yeah. <clears throat> sake. I don't know what all we're gonna do. I loved watching those like when I was super into like the music scene and shit. Like watching bands like touring vlogs or like yeah. recording vlogs and shit. I thought that was so fun. <clears throat> they like go on yeah, their bus I and stuff or they're like party and shit. Yeah. Oh wait, going on their bus, bro, that's fucking who used to do that? Is that they still do uh, stars digital tour bus and everything they like show oh the there's bands. that one and then who is the fucking little weirdo that was like very clearly a pedophile waiting to come out was it, i think it was brian stars i don't know who it is don't you know. don't you guys don't remember that fucking dude he was like dude he'd interview like really like pretty much any metal ish band he could find a lot of it was like really shit metalcore no nah. um but like yeah, he'd uh-huh. go, like, interview them, and he was just this little dude, always wore, like, Aeropostale fucking hoodies or whatever that brand's called, and, like, blue jeans that were eight sizes too big and, like, sandals, and he'd be, just be with, like, five dudes wearing nothing but black <laughs> with black hair and black shoes and black yeah, skinny no, jeans. Remember. Just It was so goofy. And then, yeah, he, I, oh, God, those were just the worst thing ever. I don't know if anyone, in the, I'm sure people in the comments will remember him, but he was, like, just the most awkward dude ever, and he'd interview people, and it was just, like, the most uncomfortable experience. But he'd, like, go on their buses and shit and give a little tour of their, their setup. Soup, whenever cool. you go, whenever you go, like, live with your band, do you ever, like, do you guys intentionally try to wear, like, a certain type of, you guys, like, wear stuff or? You know. No, not really. I mean, we just usually, from what I've seen, them. we just wear whatever we're like comfortable in. That's blue cool. jeans, a t-shirt, shorts. I mean, it just it just depends. We don't really care about the like Have image get up. image yeah. thing of it. Yeah. More like about image people really just liking only... the the music. No gimmicks. I like, yeah, I feel like image really only matters to a certain extent. Like, there's dudes who actually just dress too goofy to be up on. Like, imagine if you were just wearing like. Socks with sandals, cargo shorts, and like a fucking <laughs> like plaid cargo tennis, shorts, Tennessee football t shirt. Like, yeah, yeah I, I don't, I don't image care. Comes up to an extent. <clears throat> yeah. I don't, like I don't really music. care. I mean, I if I like the music, then what somebody's wearing isn't gonna make me like it any more yeah, or less. True. That's fair. Se. I don't know. There's, there's honestly, there's definitely been times where I've like seen what a band looks like, and it actually like slightly changes my opinion on them <laughs> like it's just subconsciously <laughs> yeah there was like there was some uh who, who there was something where this one of these like one artist was making fun of another artist because he was wearing like <sighs> like reebok or something and he was like you're supposed to oh no it was mgk remember that when oh mgk was God. mgk was oh, ripping yeah, on yeah mgk was yeah mad that people were he's like you guys gotta wear like doc martens and yeah fucking boots to perform you don't look punk you can't wear vans yeah somebody was wearing like yeah, running shoes like adidas man. running shoes or something he's like well these dad, all these old dads are wearing blah 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 like dude mgk you dress like a fucking flamingo dude like <laughs> somebody yeah, gives I a damn yeah. i don't i don't care i just I'll, I'll literally wear what i'm wearing now to to perform it's not about what you're wearing i mean <laughs> it doesn't change your music yeah so. and the people who care the people that think it's about what you're wearing are people like mgk who are very hated yeah, yeah I just think they're the best. You know what's funny too is like I liked MGK when he was a rapper. I like some of his music, and then when he switched to like rock and punk and stuff, I'm like, dude, you were a joke to the scene. Like, I mean, some know. of it was okay. Like he, I've never he listened. Definitely, to I would get drunk and listen took, to it. Like it was very. He had like very like hype drunk music. He, like, definitely took a lot of inspo from like actual solid music from back <clears> in the day. But he was just so like douchey about it. Yeah. Where he acted like he was like the fucking a hero for making uh, punk related music. It's like, bro, there is like 400,000 other artists doing that right now. Like you're not you're not redefining the scene <laughs> or anything. You're not bringing right. it back. Yeah. Like he's nowhere near as like influential as like fucking, I don't know. 
Um, Millions of other punk bands. <laughs> yeah, but I was going to say, like, in terms of bringing back a genre, uh, like uh, Greta Van Fleet or something, like, he's not even remotely on, like, their level in terms of bringing back a, a genre that wasn't super alive anymore. Like, punk has really not tapered off that much. Dude, just no way. People stop listening to it. What? Dude, want to send Poppy Rick's compilations of me? Got him a guideline strike. Oof. Big. After I got a guideline strike on my fucking channel for my best of. That's crazy. YouTube's on some whack shit. That's been up for three years. Really? Jesus. Yeah, I saw a bunch of people tweeting today that, like, YouTube is, uh... Being more assholes than they normally yeah, are? Yeah, like, demonetizing a lot of shit lately. Yeah. Dude, I'm, I, just, I, I don't, getting, I don't understand the all, system. But... The system that YouTube has in place right now. Oh, it's so bad. It, it's it just so doesn't bad. It doesn't make any sense to me. They like, could do like two things, like two very minor things, and make it so much easier for everybody. Well, just if they were if they were more transparent about what they were doing. And also, I had... Yeah, that's one of the two dude, things. I had, an, I had an Omegle video. Yeah, but I had an Omegle video where... I wanted to have it uploaded on Christmas, and I just—I literally just uploaded it now. Um, so the video, I uploaded the video. It was immediately demonetized. That's fine. Yeah. It's usually better when that happens because then it can get uh, reviewed. Yeah. Right, it'll get reviewed by somebody, and then they'll <clears> say, no, it can't be monetized, or yes, it is green, it'll be monetized. So one of two things can happen. And so it got confirmed green. I had it uploaded like two days before Christmas. And it got confirmed green, and then on Christmas Eve, it got age-restricted and demonetized. And so it's like, yeah. I, and I know the bot is continuously scanning, but it's like, if you've already had someone review it, yeah, why would it not A just human review should green? always supersede a bot review, no matter what. Well, that's what I was going to say, is like, I don't have a problem with them updating their policies. Like, if they want to be more PC, fucking whatever. If that means more advertisers are here and we make more money, and I have to do slightly less racist jokes... I'm about it. I don't really give a fuck. Yeah. But my, like, what's stupid is, like, this joke will be okay. It will get confirmed green. The video is good. If I put that joke in a best of, like, what happened to you, now suddenly that joke is not okay, despite it only being, like, maybe even a month later or something. Like, is this, or, like, two people upload the same joke. One person gets demonetized, one person... Yeah. It's fine. There's no before. logic behind it. No, there's, there's, there's not. literally like, no logic. It's behind so it inconsistent, like across the entire board. Yeah, it's insane. And some of the words that like get demonetized, like, are just ridiculous. Like, the c word yeah. is not offensive or like derogatory towards anyone. It is literally just like. I just, dude, fun. it would it would just be so like if they, if I could choose one thing for them to change is that whenever there's a problem in a video. Tell us where it was flagged. Yeah, exactly. Tell us what that was joke. the next thing. Because then from say. here on out, I'll just be like, okay, I'll never ever put that content in a video again. I have a, a fucking two hour long best of compilation and something got flagged for hate speech. And I'm supposed to know where the fuck it, what, what it was that got flagged. Yeah. Out of two hours of a bunch of random clips, it's like, dude, how hard is it for the person that's doing that to just be like, okay, at 12. 42 yeah because they're already even if it's a bot like the bot is already <coughs> scanning detecting the video the area, and they're yeah. detecting it where like why not just include the timestamp? yeah even if you being... don't put a reason like the time like i can tell like if i if i'm saying a fucked up joke at 232 in a video and it picks it up and just says 232 i can understand it's like that it's like that thing with the c word on the goons on the goons podcast a while ago that yeah, i just put in the chat soup said the fucking so literally went to say company word. and you like froze and you like stuttered and a person right. reviewed it and said that it was the c word at that time it's just well that was like it's like how do you not know, understand you, context it takes five seconds you, to listen to the sentence the one i had that was even worse did you i don't know if you saw what i posted on twitter but it was me smitty puffer and grizzly playing Warzone, and it was when the it was like when the travis scott burger came out or whatever and we were making <clears> fun of other shit that travis scott came out with uh, and i was literally just like pretended to go through a drive-thru i was like Give me a Travis Scott smoothie. And YouTube confirmed it yellow for inappropriate language. I had a human reviewer and then time stamped it to that time stamp. <coughs> and I watched it like 30 times trying to figure out what it could possibly sound like. Uh -huh. And I had to tweet at them, show them, DM them and be like, bro, what is this? I literally right. like if I didn't have a following on Twitter that was like spamming them. 
Like, I might not have had my video, like, yeah, I... re, like had monetization re-enabled. And the problem is, is, like, if you don't have a following, a lot of the time, like, you rely on every penny from YouTube. Like, yeah. obviously, at our size, if a video gets demonetized, it's not a massive deal. Like, it's not going to make or break if we can pay our right. rent. But, like, somebody who, like, just quit their job, who might have, like, not a huge following on Makes, Twitter Makes, like, 2500 a month on YouTube or something yeah. like that. Yeah, trying to, like, yeah, post their, whatever, one a video a week or whatever and posts it. And it gets demonetized for some stupid fucking reason, despite doing nothing wrong. And they don't have a following to spam Twitter. Uh, right. Like, they're just screwed. It's so, it's such a dumb system. It is a very dumb system. I had a problem. I still have a, a strike on my second channel from uh, a compilation that I watched. Like, my, my second channel, if you don't watch it, is uh, it's a channel where I react to videos that are literally already on YouTube. Yeah. So it's like... I'm I'm literally just watching YouTube. So how do you get a strike? Yeah, that remember when that happened to Markiplier? Watching, yeah, like it, 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 there's there's no oh, logic yeah. behind it. Like I had I, I had that. a compilation. I watched like a compilation. I'm pretty sure this video almost had like a million views, or it was yeah. on one of those like compilation channels. And the video was it's either at a million views now or close to a million views. And it was just like a compilation of like funny memes or whatever. And the the video was a clip of a guy waking his friend up with a chainsaw that didn't have a chain on it. Yeah. And he, like, ran at his friend and, like, put it up close to him. was like, oh, you know, and his friend got scared. He got scared, a strike for violence. Out. Dude, I got a strike for that. I literally got a strike on my channel for that, uh, for, yeah, like, violence or dangerous acts or something. And it's like, why? Like, I'm not trying to get this other channel in trouble, but, like, why would I get a strike on it? And this channel has it on theirs... And the video is almost at a million views now. It's like I'm literally just watching something that's already yeah, on YouTube, just, and I get a strike. Yeah, it's It's like that's the biggest has problem. Ads. Well, that was yeah, literally what ads. they. That's literally what they did. They died on the hill when uh, it was critical that got demonetized. <coughs> for I remember the clip, um, because like yeah. I remember when I used to do like the same format Soup does. Uh, I remember seeing it in a video and I skipped over because I was like, I know what happens here. But uh, <laughs> the clip was literally like two cars pulled over. Like, they must have been, like, I think they rear-ended each other or something like that. Um, and in the background, there's, I think it's a fire or fireworks. And then there's a bunch of, like, cartoon characters randomly, like, dancing in the street. Like, yeah. it's just, it makes no sense. And he tweeted at YouTube and was like, uh, why is my video uh, age-restricted and taken down for violence when Markiplier's is still up? And instead of going, yeah, you're right. That's silly. They took down Markiplier's video as well. And he had to, like, yeah. literally fight with them over and over for them to be, like... And he was like, I can't believe that you're actually dying on this hill. And then, like, Susan herself had to be like, yeah, we're not dying on this hill. I'll fix it. And it's like, bro, the CEO should And then they got age-restricted like, again The CEO yeah. shouldn't have to step in like yeah. that. Wait, did they, they got age-restricted again after that? Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I did not know, you know what, it, what it feels like? It, it feels like at YouTube headquarters... It, it, like if they have like a room just full of people, like a building full of people who re review videos, it's almost like they tell them, just do whatever you feel like doing. Like yeah, it, whatever it's your emotion, because like it's to, like it's yeah. very biased. It feels like it, like there's no yeah. like set rules where like it has to be this certain way for you to like apply the strike, apply the well. There is set rules, but they don't follow the set. That's rules. the thing. Just, it, that's what I'm saying. It feels like like it's a crap shoot. There are things that I have said that are horrendous that have been confirmed green, and then things like. Me saying fuck in the first 10 seconds and and then I'm just my whole video is just age restricted. So it's like it's like there's just a whole bias thing going on. I, I just don't understand yeah. it. Even the rule of excessive vulgar language. It's like who sets the boundary exactly. on what's excessive? Like who says <clears throat> saying fuck five times is excessive or saying fuck 10 times is excessive? Like what what Even exactly is excessive? Fuck is mean? a demonetizable word is insane. Like why does uh, coke Who's, who's putting an ad up on YouTube? Why does Coca Cola care? They they if don't I say, they don't care. Fuck. That my my theory on it, and I think I've told I think I've spoke on this before. My theory on it is that they don't give a fuck. Like, but they use it honest. as leverage. They they use it fuck, as leverage. Yeah. To get the, so they can pay less to YouTube to have their stuff advertised. They're like, we're gonna pretend to care about language, so we can only pay YouTube ten million dollars a year for advertising as opposed to fifty million. So whatever's yeah. gonna save us the most money, like they don't they don't give a fuck if they're advertising oh, yeah. on a fucking Hitler speech. Whatever's no, gonna sell Coca Cola products is what they're gonna advertise on. Yeah. They don't give a fuck. 
It's just yeah. all about money. That's yeah. that's my theory on it. What's weird too is it, it honestly like I mean I can't say for sure, but it feels like YouTube is making less money now. It, it's like oh, all that, the all these policies are preventing well, them from making more money. It doesn't make any sense. It's they are actually making more money right now. Uh, this was actually I think last year. Somebody in the comments can correct me. There was an article of it. Um, but I think last year, the year before, was the first time YouTube has ever actually turned a profit in profit, yeah. their entire conception. <clears throat> Oh. Um, so they're doing something right, but if they're fucking over creators who are like, like it's happening to people like fucking like quite was complaining about getting like, <coughs> like dude's content is not even remotely. Oh yeah. No, he like, just, like ours. He just talks it's over just like clips and stuff. Yeah. It's just commentary. Like there's nothing like even Oompa is getting shit right now. And like yeah. Oompa is definitely a little on the edgy side, but not like not bad or anything like nothing crazy yeah so it's just this is wild and he's he's really good at like like i can tell like whenever we've recorded it with him he's really good at keeping from saying like fuck shit oh yeah no he he's yeah he obviously has like he can bite his tongue pretty well he's you know he's not just like throwing out whatever he's thinking he's not mcnasty he's not (laughs) yeah exactly he's not mcnasty in a sponsored video (laughs) yeah (laughs) No comment. <laughs> I'm gonna bite my tongue on that one. <laughs> I have so many clips. I could just Let's just say I am a career. little bastard motherfucker in a sponsored video. You are so bad Actually, with sponsored videos. That, that's like I don't really do that much anymore. Back then Bro, it used to be really bad, but now it's like the last sponsor I did with you, I don't remember what game it was. But I have a I have quite the clip from it and it is uh, still saved. I guess I just don't remember. I will never they will never see the light of day, but they just make me laugh really fucking hard because <laughs> they're just so out of nowhere. And you'll hear like you'll hear me and soup like or do or somebody in the middle of a bit joking, laughing, getting a clip. McNasty will not have heard what anyone said. So he goes, Time to say a racial slur so that nobody can use a clip. Because I didn't hear it. Yep. This is the worst. <laughs> this is who we Oopsie work daisy. This is who we started a brand with. Whoopsie. Oh, whoopsie. That's a whoopsie daisy moment. If I've ever heard one. I'm going to sip okay. my tea on that one. I'm going to sip what's left Are of my water tea? from my nap three hours ago. Stagnant water goes hard. It doesn't. <laughs> It's not good. <laughs> I prefer moving water. I like to drink right from the crick. I don't ever drink water unless it's from an, a, just a Yeti. I'm just, a, I'm a Yeti fool. I'm a Yeti drinking motherfucker. I know I can hear your fucking tub of it. I got to actually sit his Yeti on the floor. Yeah. And it that was like one of the first sound. things you did when you walked in my house. You're like, I gotta, I gotta see if this actually makes Yeti? the sound. <laughs> yeah. I gotta see. I actually, I have a fucking white one now. I, didn't ask. I le- remember I had the blue one. I left it. At, I left it when I went to L.A. I left it in a fucking restaurant. Why did you, you take your, your Yeti into a one restaurant? gallon? Yeti well, because we were restaurant. we were at an area called. Have you guys ever heard of the <laughs> Grove weirdo. in L.A.? Oh, uh, I guess in California, yeah, y'all yeah. don't have a lot of water, so you got to take what you can get. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> it was an area where you like walked around. You had to like walk a lot, so I brought it. And I just, so like the outside shops and shit. Yeah, and I just, I just, yeah. I like drinking water. Like if I'm. If I specifically go from my house to a restaurant, I won't bring it and then come back. But if I'm going to be like walking around places, I want to have it with me. Just I, don't know, I just get dry mouth, dry throat sometimes. Do you guys think on the topic of demonetization, do you think Mario Party moments that were ethnically motivated would get demonetized? I put racially I think that's at a, first. Yeah, I, I think that's not a good put title. Racially. I, I, Toad, I like that title. Toad is handing me a gun saying, go get Grizzy. That's the thing is you don't I, know. I miss you don't the know. good old days, dude. I used to have like some Redneck really, number yeah, yeah. well, like really good self deprecating titles that I, like I used to, I used to be really edgy. I used to say a lot of fuck shit. No. And, uh, videos. <laughs> yeah. That one, that one <laughs> clip comes around every once in a while in the goons community on Twitter. Yeah, like I, I'll I'll chalk that up to ignorance and being fucking like fifteen or f- yeah. sixteen at the time. Yeah. And not you can't get mad better. at a fucking teenager no. for being like well, that. People that do are just like the people that actually get mad at that are so fucking like, yeah, uh, just delusional human beings. Like, Most people that are edgy like that 15. when they're young grow up to be like not edgy at all. Yeah, 
a lot of the time yeah a lot of yeah. the time it's just there because you like realize you were wrong when you're young and you like want to overcompensate by being well, it, too I, right i think I, I think it's yeah. the, I, I think it's just uh <laughs> i don't know i try to educate myself <sighs> on like comedy because that's kind of what we do in a way like yeah. mm-hmm. we're obviously not as good as actual stand-up comics yeah. but we still are like attempting to make jokes and like if something's like gonna be offensive or edgy like i don't i like it when it's like layered or it, it's yeah, kind of like, it, it, like it has a, a yeah. natural flow into why it was offensive not just like blatantly fucking it's like, not like I'm that gonna joke that's like what's yeah. what do you call a black astronaut i'm sure you guys know i the don't punchline to that don't no i don't but let's i, I don't yeah i'm not gonna say it <laughs> But it's just, it's one of those jokes where it's like the joke, the punchline is literally just saying being racist. Like you have to have like, like I feel like our best, like, like very edgy jokes were always very layered. Like us coming up with like some kind of like small storyline or something with it. Yeah. But even, even still like a joke doesn't have to be offensive for me to laugh at. Oh, yeah, I mean, if it's, if it's a good joke. Dude, like the fucking, the Jason Bland joke we made on Siege a couple of days ago. That was hilarious, and that, that wasn't offensive Bland, at all. Yeah, that was not funny. In Dude, any that was way. hilarious to me. Funny. Jason Bland just wears a turtleneck, and Reeboks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, I feel like most of my like clips or whatever that have gone viral aren't even that offensive. Yeah, like Baconator, they're just yeah, like the Baconator bit. I mean, I guess if you really want to get technical, you could say that was offensive. But yeah, that was offensive. Or the like everybody <laughs> has like speaking. everybody has not, like three not, dick, not like three overly of offensive though. No. Or like the yeah, like the dick inside of you thing we <clears throat> did. Like yeah, yeah. Or the Tuxbird yeah. thing where it's like yeah, I don't care. If you died, I wouldn't care. Or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. That was the aren't. one that I'm not in, but yeah, still me. get fucking me too. <laughs> tagged in every single day. Uh, yeah, yeah. It yeah. seems like some of our most viral yeah. shit were. We're not like. Well, to be fair, the racist stuff gets taken off TikTok. Yeah, that's true. And like, just like that stuff, stuff that isn't like super offensive gets more people to enjoy it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Know? Like stuff that's relatable to like everybody. You know. Yeah. But yeah. I don't know. I never. I never go into a session with like a certain a mindset, mindset. of being racist. Yeah. Well, no, a mindset of either or. Like, I don't go into a session saying, oh, I'm, this time I'm going to be offensive, this time I'm going to be relatable. I just, like, we just make jokes. It's all improv. Whatever happens, happens. Yeah. So, we script. We script jokes. Yeah. We do. We write them all down in a yeah. notepad and send them to each other. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, Nogla just asked if we need a guest. <laughs> no, Nogla, we do not need a guest right now. Come in for the outro. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, come on in for the outro. Speaking of, Soup, do your job. Uh, it's about that time, ladies and germs, and they thems, and squirrels, and eggplants watching and listening. Thank you all for tuning in. We appreciate it. Use code GOONS and buy Use some g subs. Pick up some of these fresh threads. Some GOONS merch, baby. Yep, go do Thanks it. Thanks for listening. Go download on Spotify so we can get back up on them charts. <laughs> And with that, I leave you with a song. (laughs) Those micro notes. My snake is charmed. I know it though, Mariah Carey. All right. I hope I charmed all of your snakes. Goodbye. Goodbye. Peace.